Well, what's up guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. And in this one, we solve one of the hardest, maybe even the hardest, ironclad seed. So this is a little while ago where somebody named Gamer Puppy released Pandora Box Mine Seeds. And you can see by the list, you're gonna see things like eight clashes, eight evolves, eight barricades, yada, yada, yada. And this goes for all the classes. So I'll link that down in the description. You guys can try some of these out yourself. This run is more like a puzzle than it is just like a one-time playthrough. So there's a lot of retries and trying to solve it as if it's a puzzle and we managed to do it. I remember reading like the one time I did go on Reddit, somebody was like, oh, this is like the hardest seed. I, can, I couldn't do this. This is an impossible seed. So I solved the impossible seed. It's a little bit longer than usual, but it's definitely worth it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you guys do. And let me know in the comments what seeds you guys try and if you want me to try any other seeds that might be interesting. See you guys soon. Peace. There's a seed with seven evolves. We're going to a challenge mode. This was gonna be hard. This is a hard one. But we're gonna do it. Seven evolves. A bash, dual will, and a drop in purvis. Okay. So one drop kick goes infinite. So this is drop kick waiting room. We're going, we're going against Guardian. One drop kick goes infinite. So we need to fight fights and get a drop kick. Let's go find drop kick. Gorgeous first fight. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I need a wild strike because I need something else. Gorgeous first fight. So, 10 <laughs> plus 22 is one damage off lethal. Sorry, 21. Two damage off lethal. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to give the seed a couple of tries because it's a very challenging seed. It deserves a couple of tries under the sun. It's very easy to let lose right away. So we can't fight two fights immediately. As it turns out. And we're hoping that the shop has a drop kick, I guess. Otherwise, we die to this elite. But information is key. So let's gain some information and see how this goes. I suppose information is key. Information is key. Let's see. Ah, he low rolled. They low rolled the health. Wow. Shrink pot kills it. Shrink pot kills it. Is it necessary to kill it? Probably. But then now we don't have involved in play. Which is no problem because we have evolve here. And we're doubt every single way. But I, I figured the shop is important to have gold, so. Figure that's important. Okay, so now we're actually making progress. Now this is deja vu. Entry is not card draw. Status is not a curse. <laughs> Disarm helps against the guardian. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. So no drop kick. But I have second wind stuff. I feel a pain, second wind. Oh boy, second wind is huge. Also, this helps against the, 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 the triple centuries. My god, Funeral Pain is so good, it helps against triple centuries. This is, this is so good. Oh my god, I can see the path to victory is right in front of my face. Oh my lord. I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Wait, this is so winnable, though. Jesus. It is extremely winnable. Like, second wind, this is a win in the first act, maybe. Alright, try again, though. Try again. Alright, so for that situation, let's go, let's go, let's, let's really back. If we go into this fight, no, we need that shop. And that shop was game changing. We need that shop. That shop is necessary. I mean, is there a shop in the other path? Okay, there's also this path. Which has the same shot, but an extra fight. But the shot doesn't have a curse involved. Hmm, there's a couple paths we can think about. It doesn't help that the first fight... So, you know what I needed? I think I know what I need for that fight. Let me, I'm gonna go... I need to go back. I need to take no damage. In the uh, in the this fight, I need to take less damage. I took four damage. However, if I leave that guy up, he's gonna smack me for harder. Because the four damage I took here was, was, was what killed me. Yeah, the 150 is worth, yes. Because that shop saves the game. But the problem is... I take a four here. Even that guy up is far worse. I don't know, how, how can I go? I can't really go around this four. So here I, I got this wrong because I thought it was useful. And, it, and in the fight, it saved me. It saved me three life. But if I don't take anything, there's a chance I draw this arm. I mean, Impervious turn one. But I need Impervious turn two. So pair? So pair, you're saying buy pair and second one Philippine? I can't. Other than that, I'm pretty sure the Jawbone was succeeded in all of them. But yeah, this path may not have Jawbone, but I'm pretty sure it's succeeded in all of them. But I say we. Mm. Maybe I mean we had to take second one, right? Second one's just too good. But maybe it's funeral pain and a potion. Maybe it's funeral pain and a potion. You think the second wind um You think the second wild track influenced the draw? I, it's, I'm, it's worth considering. I'm curious. The same draw. Same draw. Yeah, same draw. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I bought the second wild track last time. I don't live there. 
Ah, right, 6 HP, he's doing 12. I feel the pain, blocks for 3 3. I can't do bash. No, I know, but he does 12 damage. The strength buff. Same, same, same exact lethal as last time. But, uh, I think that maybe. We'll, we'll check if this path has a different, uh, what's it called? First fight, which I don't think it does. But we'll, we'll try it, right? Yeah, I think it's always the same. No, I think this. I think I heard somebody say that they get they got to like. Um, to like act two or three with this deck, right? With this start. So I know it's possible. It's painful, but it's it's cool. This doesn't change anything, does it? It's this. It's literally the same thing. It's just the same thing. What if I don't get the doubt though? What if I just get a female pain second wind? Well, I played in purpose. At 17 is the max is gonna get. I'm not gonna get it any more uh, out of it unless you think bash is more important there. So instead of saving 12, I save 17. If you don't play second wind, ah, but I, it's only affordable when I have the, the hit bash of vulnerable, yeah. So that probably saves. Right, we, can, we can try that. So how much was that? It's like 160 for both, right? It was like 40, 42 and 40, 42 and 45 or something like that. So it's like 174 gold I need, which without membership card, I don't think I can afford it. And I don't think there's anything I can do differently here. I mean, because this slime's gonna attack me. Right? I'm gonna end up losing more life. So it's kind of just like me bashing my head against the wall. But maybe you're right, Loopy. Maybe attacking when he wasn't vulnerable might save me a, a, like 2 HP, and that's enough to actually beat the act or survive the first turn. And I'll go back and do that, and I'll be like the last try, I think. Because it is worth noting that. Now let me show you, look, so... Funeral Pain Second Wind Final Strike is how much gold? 171 plus 29. I'm already spending that much, so membership card saves me money. Uh, okay. Okay, you're saying I can do Second Wind Funeral Pain, Watch Strike, and do something else. Like... Gambler's Brew, how much more, let's do the math I guess, okay, we have 171, and that leaves us 100 gold, 104 gold, yeah, so we can remove a card or buy a potion or something, but removing a card, I don't know, second one removes cards for me, Chaos Pot, Penoma membership card is sad, I suppose. Maybe Chaos Pot is not it, because Chaos Pot got rid of my uh, second wind, right? And the second one is necessary for this fight. But instead of Chaos Pot, maybe it's, um... Maybe it's Gamblers? No, well... It maybe it's Gamblers. If I gamble enough, then I can get into Impervious this turn. But then, then I die to this turn. But this is a little bit more doable. Alright. Alright, so we're on a new iteration path. It's the path to insanity. I, I I didn't let you guys know that this is the path to insanity, but it is a path nonetheless. 
there's even that. Like, maybe it's not the second wild strike. We can try gamblers instead. Like, so I, I do want to try this iteration where I get gamblers instead. Evolve second wind. And maybe that draws me to impervious. Yes. Let's go, baby. Now we got a never whiff ever. No whiffs, never. What could go wrong? It's physically impossible for me to survive next turn. Because I have a full 10 of cards, full 10 cards, uh, full. Okay, if I do Wild Strike, does that do enough damage? I literally just can't win next turn. Because I draw 10 cards. And I'm facing 24 damage. And I can't kill. And this is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3. 18 block. 18 block is not 24. So this doesn't work. They're putting more days in the deck. So if I get two more days, I get up to... Okay, you're right. I could at least end turn and see what I draw if I draw a whole hand of days. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're right about that. You're saying I can use your watch right here, but I'm saying that I have to, to do gamblers with the way I did it. Like, almost exactly. But I don't have to play an Evolve. But I don't have to play an Evolve. What I can do is feel no pain. Dual wield the Wild Strike. Then second Wind. And then I play Evolve on this one. What about Feel No Pain, Wild Strike, Second Wind? So is it more important to do build the Wild Strike or just play Wild Strike now? Because if I play Wild Strike now, then I'm getting a wound with no Evolve in play. Which is riskier. Let's try this idea. Alright. I don't think this works. I don't think this works. Yeah. Because it, it, the wound prevents the Wild Strike. Uh... But, there's, remember, it may not even be Gambler's Brew. It may also just be Chaos Pot at the end of the day. I don't know, it's interesting. This is a, it's, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of iterations to this seed. There's a lot of iterations to this seed. I'm gonna go with my play, which is this. This is my play. Because I don't need to play Evolve now. Okay, but second wind is here. Okay, but second wind is here. That's a key difference. Wild Shrek, Wild Shrek, second wind.
Calibers, please. No, then we did double wild strike again on the sentry, and then, then, it's a, then it's a staggered fight, and it's an instant win. Because now it's staggered fight. Double wild strike kills this. Staggered fight means I only take 12 each time. 12 is easy to block. Granted, I dropped both wild strikes. And I did. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And now the fight's winnable. Let's get rid of the doubt, though. GG! We did it! By the way, with this block engine, I can I can beat Act Two bosses. But of course, they're adding days, which makes my life a lot easier. I gotta be careful because I can draw. Oh, that second wind. Never mind. GG. Now here's the other. Now here's the thing. Now <laughs> I gotta like. Not die in the next couple floors. I probably rest here, right? I, I'm, I'm assuming I rest. It is is a small assumption, and I think I don't do another elite. Like Lock of Olin is winnable, but Gremlin Knob, on the other hand, is death. But Lock of Olin is winnable. Because I can generate wounds, second win with feel of pain. I can even do a wheel feel of pain. Like Lock of Olin is very winnable. I have three turns to set up, do a wheel feel of pain stuff. I mean, it's dodgy, but it's winnable. Gumlin obviously is a death. <clears throat> it's a death, though. And if I go this path, okay. Now I want to see if, like, if it is logable. Then, so I'm gonna do something tricky, guys. Don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. But I know glitches, and but glitches save me time. And because I know glitches, I have the ability to actually see things. And determine that it is log of Olin. but then I won't use the glitch though. But I, what I, I won't, I won't use the glitch. And I wonder if I need to get dual from the pain. This may not even be winnable either, though. This may not even be winnable. I can't drop back into dual wheel from the pain. Okay, so do a wild strike here. And go. Yeah, buddy. Winnable. This might be an impervious wild strike. Impervious wild strike here. And just play nothing else. Yes, sir. I should have done dual wield on a wild strike. That might that might make a difference. I, I should have done dual wild strike there. That was my bad. 
That might make a difference. That was my bet. Maleko, thanks for the chill and sub. Welcome back. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 15, 15 plus... Okay. We get to keep dexterity putt. And life is good. Oh, this is going to be like a brain buster. There's so many things to think about. I can't look at the map because I have a glitch in, in uh, buffered. So I can't look at the map, guys. Unfortunately, cannot look at the map. But I noticed the Guardian. Let me use the bathroom. You guys tell me if any of these are good. Okay. Armaments Plus would be great, you said? So one thing I do know is that... Adding cards is a little bit... So my turn ones are the roughest. I got to survive turn one. No. And... But having a small deck is important because drawing second wind often is very important as well. So there's a, a fine balance between I gotta improve my turn once, but I need to have second wind on turn two in the least. Carnage is more front loaded, and that could definitely help me get through some fights, just sheer front loadedness. I, I, I kind of think Carnage is okay here. Because Carnage can get rid of itself with Field of Pain if need be, or I could just kill something. And it balances out the deck quite nicely, I think. Carnage is not bad. Armaments plus. Can upgrade dual wield and feel in pain and do some crazy stuff, yeah. Since we draw so many cards, Armaments plus could be like a really nice uh, damage increase for the wild strikes. As well as, you know, a second wind, feel in pain, dual wield upgrades are very. They're, they're significant. I like Carnage just to kind of get through. Um... This is one that deviates a lot, though. This is really tough because. And this is when it deviates a lot. Good stuff. Oh, shit. How do I prevent that? How do I prevent this? I thought the glitch buffer doesn't matter if you just don't look at the map. I could leave this fight, take nothing. Oh, but that changes the card rewards. How do I retroactively fix this? How do, I, how do I erase this? I guess we gotta restart. Ah, oh, but they have to do that whole fight all over again. I guess it's fine. We kind of have it down to a science, right? Alright, I'll restart. And this is it. In, in the spirit of trying to save time with the, the, nit, the glow niche, the <laughs> node glitch, I, I messed up. Okay. However, this time we got it down to a science, so... Okay, we should probably rest, however, because there's a lot of fights that I have to get through. It only makes sense. Damn it. Taking six damage is brutal. Oh, ink bottle is probably relevant. All right, I should slow down because ink, ink bottle is probably relevant here. Also, headbutt for. Okay, okay. Headbutt for second wind is actually something to think about as well. I think shrug it up is quite nice because to have some blocks, I don't take chip damage. But second wind, I mean, we draw so much that I don't think headbutt is necessary here. It is another attack. It's something to think about. It's an attack versus struggle off preventing chip damage. And here we get the keeping bottle, which is nice. Doubt sucks a little bit.
It's a mystery whether or not I'm gonna have block here. Mystery solved. So, how exactly for the, for the guardian? The guardian is going to be interesting. Fights versus events. Like, what events are we looking for here? Like giving away one evolve with bonfire spirits would be kind of nice. But we do have pantograph already. Um, what else does the fight for cards? Yeah. Well, getting second wind early. So like I don't know. I mean, this deck is pretty good already. Sort of. My turn ones are the, wor the worst part. I think we beat the guardian already, though. Actually, I already see the win from guardian. With the Evolve, Second Wind, Phenol Pain stuff, and Carnage for the turn 2, I already see the win for Guardian with Panagraph. I think Second Wind already wins. I already see it. I'm just trying to see what event I care about. I suppose I like Shrines more here. I can upgrade. Or Bonfire Spirits. Or even Transform, I guess. Okay. Eviscerated and chopped. We, we lose to this, right? Shrines have less chance. Did we lose to this? Maybe. I don't have the burning pack there to get second wins instead of what I did there. All right. I mean. I mean, I think we could win it actually. I don't know if I need to. I don't. I don't think I need to maximize it. And actually, you know what I mean. Like, we could win it though by playing it differently. Um, by playing more wounds in the deck, we could win this. But is it is it necessary? It definitely feels winnable though. Like, okay, I mean. Sure feels winnable. Do we care about dexterity pot? I mean the potion chance on this feels like it's higher for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It's my craziness talking. I don't think we need dexterity pot for the guardian though. I think the guardian's already won. 
I also kind of want to do like a wound first. I want to add more wounds yet again. Like I think I want to do like dual wield. Wild Strike. And I want to play like this. I like that a lot better. However, I'm losing a lot of strength, so I wonder if Bash becomes sort of necessary at some point. Like, double watch right here is important. But then we lose. Because no second wind. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna skip this fight. Whatever. I don't know. Okay, it still does feel winnable, though. It does feel winnable. Like, if I second wind... I'm sure I can find some way to win it, but I don't know. It's just not. It's just not. That's really wonderful, though. For sure, for sure, for sure. I probably don't even need... Feel pain for this fight. Oh, this is so awkward. Uh, these turns are so awkward. It's just like the, the wounds is better. This could be cool. I don't know if you want it or not, though. Like, Armors Plus... That's a, I don't know. It's, it's increasing my damage output. Armors Plus is whatever. At this point, it's like... Um... What do I need in this deck? I feel like dual wield actually does more because dual wield hitting a power is pretty impactful, but okay, second wind already blocked for too much. I mean, maybe Carnage upgrade is actually better because that's actually damage that I need to prevent second turn, right? So these are like, the impactful upgrades I would say are Carnage just for second turn front loaded, and like second wind actually over blocks at the moment. Dual wield for more wild strikes, which is my engine, and then potentially another field of pain but i'm gonna go for the front loader because i think that's the biggest obstacle of this fight is the turn two turn two is the biggest obstacle and now i'm doubted with impervious turn one no problem <laughs> i mean it's pretty simple you just draw the right cards and I even do do well through the pain, and I can never lose. Don't draw carnage! Don't draw carnage! Ah! I can lose all of a sudden. I can lose all of a sudden. My my block engine is insane though, so. I could probably win without Carnage because my block engine is still insane. It just makes my life a lot harder. Makes my life a lot harder. It's over though. And the thing is, the question is, did I want to take damage in this fight? Or did I want to, um. Like, a double watch strike is probably fine there. Like, probably even better, right? If I want to save life in this fight, a double watch strike is probably just better. 
Am I content with the fact that I'm taking damage? I mean, that, that life... Yeah, it probably is better to do Watch Strike, Watch Strike, Watch Strike, Watch Strike, yeah. I, I, can, I can contend with that, for sure. Yeah. I'll point to my second wind here. How many wounds do we have left in the deck? That's the thing. Because we're running out of. We're gonna, like. We also get rid of Impervious there. Play like this. I made this fight necessarily hard without Carnage, though. Mm. Even this fight can play differently, of course. Because my, my only damage is going to be like Wild Strike, Wild Strike. It's winnable, though. So. Let's get to the point where the, the whole run is winnable as well, despite the evolves. Okay, close it behind you. Probably a decent second wind. Because now at this point, all I care about is wounds. Thing is that burning pact and uh, it's shrugging off for good block cards. Burning pact and shrug are pretty decent block cards, so. Snicko over ridiculously, ridiculously strong. Snicko does get it could it can mess up this whole like I can practically win the game off the back of uh off the back of Second wind consistency. <laughs> Only problem is getting rid of Bernie Pat is a little bit of a sore sore moment for me. But we get back like this. Ah, lethal again. <laughs> We're happy flowers perfect like this. Look at this. Perfect lethal, perfect happy flower, perfect ink bottle, perfect shuriken. Alright, cool. See, corruption is something you don't want here.
My, so L just left, so the dogs are acting up. Crafter is something you don't want. Reaper could be interesting, off just to get casual sustain here and there. I don't know, it's not that great. This looks like a skip to me, actually. Double tap could be like double tap wild strike gives me more um, more wound generation, which is my engine. <laughs> Wounds are my engine. The thing about Reaper is that yeah, double tap for sure can. I mean, no, no, it's weird. It's still a weird skill to draw, but it's a skill that I can draw and so I can wind it as well. Reaper doesn't. We could theoretically have certain fights shuriken all the way up for a big reaper. Yeah, okay. Empty cage versus runic cube. Whenever you take it, lose HP, you draw one card. I think it's just sacred bark here. I would love an energy relic. I think it's sacred bark though. Because now we have a way to infinite heal with reaper if, if I'm diligent enough. So there's certain fights where you don't get punished for stalling. It's hard to stall with Surikin though, but like Centurion Mystic is a fight I can get full health in. If I were to take Sacred, if I were to take Empty Cage and give her two Evolves, that would help my deck for sure. But Second Wind can use Evolve as Fuel. I think Sacred Break here. Give me a second. Let me walk my dog real quick. I'll be back in five minutes. It started raining on me. Ow. Started running me outside. Whew, I stepped on a. What do you call these things, guys? Let me show you this. This was in my foot. It's a sharp green, pointy. There it is. Oh boy, in my foot. Cause I was running to not get fully rained on. Okay. All right guys, so we have Zigger Bark. We have a lot of evolves. We have no energy. Cockabur, nature's cow, cow traps, a sticker, a thistle, a burr, a goat head. Well, we learned that it could be any number of seven things. Cockabur. So, elites, guys. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about elites. How viable. How doable. A lot of campfires. Are upgrades that important? I don't need that many upgrades. Second win upgrade would be nice. Dual upgrade would be nice. I want energy, for what I really want. High flower helps. All right, so let's take a look at this. Events versus fights. This path has a shop and two elites. I like this path because it gives me a midway shop, a decent amount of events and fights, and a nice shop. With, I must mention, no membership card. Very sad. I know I'm going crazy with these uh, things, but I should point out that there's this path as well. I know there's like no clarity at all what's going on here. Let's assess what do we want and what's the path, best path to achieve what we want. Well, we want an offering. We want an offering. It's ideal for me to draw second wind alongside all this junk quickly. Bag of prep, offering, battle trance. These three cards, these three things. So battle trance and offering, those come in fights. So I probably want to find a couple fights. Bag of prep comes from elites. So we probably want to find a couple of elites. These are just slim things that I care about. What else do I care about? What else? I mean, theoretically, another impervious. So you want elites because you like the rares from elites. How do we beat slavers? 
Carnage? Carnage and what? Carnage can handle slavers. I can see that world. Lots of damage taken to our face, though. Book of Stabbing? Book of Stabbing, I can go second wind uh, block positive. But my damage is the issue. The Book of Stabbing, I can outblock for a couple of turns. If I say a couple of turns, I can outblock him for seven, eight turns, probably. It's about doing damage in between that. Makes it difficult. And then there is the Gremlin Leader. So cards for Body Slam. There we go, we're getting somewhere. So how beneficial is it the, these upgrades in comparison to a mid shop? Like how important is that mid shop here? So this, this fight has a lot more card upgrades. So you talk about it's going to be kind of rough. Like avocados are already kind of rough. We get upgrades. So upgrades are like second wind impervious, dual wield, body slam if I get body slam. Burning pact is not bad. I mean, these are, they're, they're decent upgrades. I mean, I mean, burning pact, impervious, second wind. These are, these are not pretty, they're not the best. I like this path because it has a mid shop. I'm gonna go that path. This is a good thorn pot or what? Is this a good throne pot? I mean, throne pot is best used in the book stabbing, right? Which is far away. I have bronze skills. Oh, I need to wake up. Because I have bronze skills. Oh no, I have Sacred Park. Oh my god, I need to wake up. I need to wake up. Bronze skills. No, you have, book, you have Sacred Park. Okay, I forget. Okay, I have Sacred Park. It's back into reality, guys. We have Sacred Park. So potions are better. Okay. Alrighty. These are not cards we care about. We're very exact about what we want. A Body Slam, a Battle Trance... A bloodletting. These are things we care about. What about a ritual dagger? I think fire breathing. Ah, a singular fire breathing could be useful. Because my AoE is pretty bad. A fire breathing would be good. A fire breathing plus, for sure, is pretty decent. So, Richard Dagger adds an element of front loaded to our deck. With, like, alongside Carnage and Wild Strike, could be useful. And we can stall with the block engine exactly. And having this front loaded monster could be quite useful for certain fights. I don't hate it. But it's also another card that I draw. That is further away from staying alive. Like, I don't know. I have to get through seven evolves. A doubt, a Sender's Bane, a Bash, a Wild Strike mostly, because these are so for all for the most part, these are all curses. Because these are not killing. So I have to get through so many curses, and then Richard Dagger is probably a curse in his own right. But very quickly it becomes not a curse, so that's not really fair to say. Like drawing it early could be beneficial in certain fights. But it, it is sort of going against the grain of what I really want, which is um, just a way to not take 22 damage, basically. That's basically it. It's a way to not take 22 damage. It looks like we're going to be taking 22 damage for a long time now. It's like I have the ritual dagger, but I don't want to take this damage. This is this is tough. 
I gotta make a decision. I can't sustain myself on this much damage. To my face? Brutal. Fingal Pain would have saved a lot of life there. Zabarathi stole 60 of my gold. Dark Embrace is nuts, but how do I play it? Sentinel's also at- oh! I was trying to talk about it and I click it. This is easy. Let's decide, do we want... Do we want uh, Dark Embrace or not? I mean, it's like part of the trifecta, I feel like it's not bad. How do I play it though? I had no mana. Because my draw engines evolve at the moment with wounds, but Dark Embrace does help me. Yeah, cutie. Oh, you guys can barely see him. Sorry. Cutie pie. Dark Embrace is another curse, unfortunately. It's good though. I uh, can't type today. It's, it's good. Oh. Oh, this wins. This has to win. It makes Pantograph worse. However. It buys time. And once time is acquired, I then can go infinite block stuff. Ah. Abacus infinites. Nah, Panagraph is the only thing I care about. Um, remove Bash or remove Evolve? Here's my logic, and I say this all the time when I take when I have curses in the deck, people always ask me why I remove things. Evolve is second wind fuel and removes itself. Doubt, second wind fuel. In the very least, Bash Ritual Dagger is pretty good, so I shouldn't remove Bash. Removing Doubt, I guess, is fair. Because I'm not going to have second wind at all in every turn. I don't have Trigger either. So removing a Doubt makes sense. Because we can be detrimental. So I, I can contend with that. I think Draw Pot, remove, uh, remove a card. That makes sense. Now again, second wind is managed by... Doubt is managed by second wind, but again, I only have one second wind in a 25 card deck. We're gonna remove it the next shop. Let me for energy, we constantly fill hands. But we don't constantly fill our hands with like, um. I feel like we don't constantly fill our hands with, what's it called? That many expensive cards. Mistakes were made. Sheesh! Sheesh!
Damn. So I have card draw. I can call I can draw cards for sure. The thing is I want to do like shrink pots so I can get the ritual dagger. This is tough because oh my god. I wanna have trouble killing the chosen. Not necessarily feeling pain in play. Also, if we do a wheel of the ritual dagger, do we did we determine how that works? Does not affect the original, but Exhum does. I mean, I want to kill this bird. This bird is going to get out of control. I don't want to waste Strength Pot, though. Dark Embrace is a little crazy. A little not so. But second wind. Hoo I can get down with that bad boy. Call me Sally. One calipers, one barricade, game's over. One caliper, one barricade, game is over. I'm trying to get Ritual Dagger, but it's going to be hard, I feel like, to daggerize this fight. It's going to be quite hard to daggerize this fight, in my opinion. Also, second one is only as good. Second one is only as good as the amount of wounds I have in my deck, and at this point, I'm not gonna be able to make more wounds. I lied. I can make more wounds. Try everything will help my damage, yeah, for sure. And we'll see if we can get dagger. Oh boy, second wind is only as good as the amount of wounds I can make. So we can full block, but the Chosen isn't slowing down. Twenty-four, forty-two. I'm very close to lethal. I need to take no damage this turn if possible. If possible. Lethal next turn, baby. Man, don't Don't ever talk shit about second wind. I don't want to hear it ever. You're not allowed to talk shit about Second Wind. Okay. We're at a crossroads. Crossroad. Two elites. Tuna. Um, slavery to kill us in a bad turn. I mean, we, we, we can die in any turn, in, in any fight. This is tough. We have a drop out though, so it's much harder to die right now. Hi, slavers. I was just talking about you. Okay, question. String pot, yes. String pot, yes. Question, two evolves or double wild strike instead? I think it's evolve wild strike, water strike instead. And I think it's string pot for sure. Yeah. 
This guy gives. I mean, the fact that he gives me wounds, I should. I want to bring him along for other fights. Looks like impervious ritual dagger to me. To my untrained eye. Looks like that to me. No, I could have. Yeah, it looks like that to me. Do we agree? Are we happy? Are we allowed? Oh. Nice. And that's like a win is here, right? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. See, that's awkward. That's awkward. Because I had redrew the deck. Unfortunately, burning pact plus. I mean, I can kill this guy and take three damage. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. Wait, this is not fine. What's up, cannabis? Uh, this deck would like fire breathing, yeah. Oh, we fuck! Ah, 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 ah! So I didn't want it to end like that. I didn't want it to end like that. Wait, so how do we do this? How do we do this? Too many wounds is actually pretty bad because we only have one second wind. Got a weird crash. Uh, I'll let Mega Crit know. Mega Crit should probably figure out. Something about that bug, it's a weird, it's a weird bug. It, it happens, like, if you get 20 wounds in the Slaver's fight, the game crashes. It's very weird. Um, I mean, how bad is... How bad is Vulnerable anyways? Let's be real, how bad is Vulnerable, guys? Block is not a problem for us. Block isn't a problem for us. Luck isn't a problem for us. Am I crazy? I'm out of my mind. Block isn't a problem, I said. No problem. What's 
no problem. I'm trusting you right now. Okay, block's your problem. Block's your problem. All that happened on floor zero. Hmm. So we die here, right? This is where the death happens. This is where the death happens. How long, how are you supposed to play that turn? It's the cards that really wants to be smacking these things around. So you're saying that... You're saying that we want to draw... If you actually, you guys think this is it? You think this is the solution? Wild Strike Reaper here? There's barely not enough. Second one is just not even that like, good here because it's the next one where I die. I could second win and then it's carnage. I think I second win and then carnage. And then I go for the 1v1. But if I do that, then I probably die to this guy anyways. Because I only have 12 life. So now I gotta hope that I don't draw Carnage. If I do Reaper Second Win, I gotta hope that I don't draw Carnage so that I can use Carnage to kill the Slaver. Otherwise, I don't have Lethal on the Slaver, which is important, so I don't die. So I gotta hope that I don't draw Carnage. I think we have no final pain in the deck. But it's probably better to Reaper first because I get less draw this way. And less draw is better. I can do will I can do will the Wild Shrek as well though, so this is fine. Oh we got we drew both out we drew the Wild Shrek and the Carnage. This guy needs to <laughs> This guy needs to die. <clears throat> Jeez Louise. 
Okay, there's probably a way to do this. I think it involves... This is the last try. I think it involves... Evolves, I'm saying evolves. Involves... Mm, another carnage hit. It's going well, Garong. How you doing, buddy? Drop out turn one. difference here is that I need to play Reaper. And then Wow Strike this guy to kill him. And then we should have enough life to survive. And the purpose is still in the deck. There's also dual wield. There's no way I draw bo draw into both wild strikes, right? There's no way. Wait, maybe I just don't play Dark Embrace at all. I'm thinking Field of Pain Reaper Second Wind. Field of Pain Reaper Second Wind. And then I don't play Dark Embrace at all. We have Impervious for one turn. I will strike. I have another one in the deck. It's fine. I gotta survive next turn. But if I do Bash right now, and I draw into Carnage, Carnage is doing how much? Carnage is going to be doing... 33, but, okay. 33, 49. 49 plus 9 is lethal. So I think we take this hit and just kill Carnage next turn. Okay, fire breathing. Pew, pew, pew. Fire breathing is pretty good. But fire breathing is only good after I play like wild strikes and then have the evolves in play. It's still a, a curse that does nothing for the most part. Until it does something. But that's, I guess that's my deck in general. Also, it's important to realize that fire breathing also makes it harder to get ritual dagger. Do we want to bottle anything? Do we want to bottle ritual dagger so we can kill things? Turn one. What can we kill turn one with ritual dagger? No. That deck looked bad, kind of, just because I had too many wounds. This deck can stall for 20 years with my block engine. But yeah, it is sort of ass. I mean, I agree. It is partially ass. Some partial ass. I can also just not take the... I can also just not take the, the, the bottle of flame and just want to draw into Dragon Brace instead, you know? Probably just don't bottle anything. I guess it's bottled anyways. Hey, fuck me, I guess. 
Yeah, I didn't take the bottle. I, I should play the Wild Strike though. This is tough. I should play Wild Strike, but I should also play the Fire Breathing. Nah. I'm munching like crazy. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm just. I'm eating. I'm eating granola. I'm selling dagger. I made an executive decision. I'm selling dagger. The deck's getting set up. I want to play Carnage though. No. Let me play Carnage, please. Frick. Frick me. It's okay. Fire Breathing wins. Dual wield could be good if it didn't cost three. Damn you. All right. Here we go, boys. There we go. Oh, second wind's not here, though. Wait. But that's a huge problem. There's a massive problem. I might the second wind. Draw back into a, a card of 10 cards and then draw, redraw my deck. I need to get a hand of 10. And then redraw my deck. I'm sold. That's exactly what I was talking about. Because now we have this perfectly stacked. And now we draw a brand new deck. Brand new options. Including second wind. And now I just got a ritual dagger. Perfect. Can I get a Craig Asm, please? Okay, so we got Battle Trance. Now, Battle Trance is very good. All right. Like, it's very good pre Dark Embrace shenanigans. <sighs> that bridge. I love Toolbox. I'm a huge toolbox gamer, massive fan. Dupe pop, very good, because we have sacred barks. Dupe dupe pop could be very good. That's double ritual dagger, double final pains, double. Yeah, all craziness. We still want to find body slam. I'm loving toolbox. Is toolbox better or worse than we're moving? Yeah, dupe pop is very good. As an out. Yeah, toolbox is greater. I agree with that. But my question is, do I need the dupe pop to survive this? This uh. To survive this, um... And how have we known, guys? You guys don't know this. I'm going to show you some lore. I was the one I vouched for Toolbox way back in the day. And I might be slightly responsible for the changes to Toolbox. Because back in the day, you did not get to choose. Alright? So you're welcome. Now, I can't take full credit because I don't know... I don't, I don't deserve full credit. I'm just saying I was very vocal. Two years ago. Or so. Anyways. Um... Do, do we think need Dupat as an out for this fight? Because that's also double apparitions. Alright? Double apparitions. Apparitions and Dupat go very well together. And if I can do this elite, then I get one step closer to a rare card. Like Exhume is very good. Um, and Beric is very good. I'm scared if I... Alright, so... Here's what I'm gonna say. I had 100 and how much gold? 174. Uh, I wanna remember these numbers. 174, 165, 85. Because I'm curious. I can save myself uh, time. I said an important thing to remember. You'll, you'll, th you'll see why. Master strategy to get everything out is very important. Apotheosis upgrades a lot of cards. Like Fire Breathing, for instance. Pathosis might be a little... Oh, okay, we're facing a lot of damage, turn one. 
This might be master strategy to find apparition. Be a uh, master strategy so I don't die turn one. Unless we're confident or like you know I can bot the osis anyways. I think it is a master strategy though. The only grievance I have is that I don't know what's in my hand. If I have an apparition in my hand, then I want to buy the I mean, to be fair, we've saved and quit so much in the seed, and we can, we're just trying to figure out if the seed is winnable. I suppose we could do what OJB said. Why are we acting like we're above saves come all of a sudden? We're rewarded. The faithful are rewarded. Me above saves. Up. To be fair, I am taking chip damage though. Pentagraph. So Pentagraph's four. Pentagraph's chip damage. Pentagraph is so good. All right, guys, I draw four uh, four cards for every wound. Oh, my God. <sighs> this is going to be crazy. I got to do dual fire breathing. I have to. The only question is, I need to play wounds as well. I got a little giddy. My bad, my bad. I have to do a wield this, though. However, I'm also dying here. Easy solution. Do wield fire breathing. Play one battle trends. Easy solution. It never fails. Never fails. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. This never fails. Exactly. Exactly. Do 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 do. Let's go, boys. Machine gun. Yes, 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 yes. I need more fuel. I was gonna get. I gotta get rid of all these superfluous evolves as well. Nice. I could do dual wield again. You guys really want to Uzi them? I mean, I could really take it there. This is good enough. Perfect. It's like a pink bottle. It's like a pink bottle somehow. Reaper! Ah, I have pantograph, it's fine. I have pentagraph. Reaper's only relevant because I have a fight next turn. Next fight. Next next floor. So Reaper's only relevant because of that. Which is relevant. I mean, that is relevant. At this point, it's hard to stop a Reaper when I have a machine gun on my, on my buff bar. I was trying to stop. <laughs> okay, well, I got to do putt anyways. We got a body slam. Okay, okay. Well, you know, a boy can dream. Body slam's still good here, I feel like. Like, body slam now is a... Okay, but do I need body slam now that I have fire breathing? So fire breathing is a damage engine. Alright? A very potent one at that. Body slam is good for, like, front-loaded damage, though. Like, body slam is good here, I feel like. I mean, who am I kidding? Of course it's good here. P-Box gave me seven evolves. Welcome. So we're doing spicy seeds. I don't care about frail that much. But. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. There's a problem there. Slight problem.
Okay, I did something wrong. Wow. So this is not a seed, like, guys, this is like, we're trying to see if the seed's winnable. Apparently somebody got to, like, act three or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I think the seed's winnable, but at this point, wait, I meant to pick finesse. What was underneath this? Uh, it's too late. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I meant to pick finesse. Oh, it's, it's, this works. Ah, it doesn't actually work. We're still dead next turn. How do we not die next turn? Ah, that makes sense. Don't draw on purpose. Pretty simple solution. Don't draw on purpose forehead. Kidding me? Technically, I could do putt. Technically. The champ fight's over. Like, okay, let's put it this way, guys. The champ fight's easy. Done. Finito. I guess this is the most aggressive Mystic I've ever seen. It's because I have not attacked the Centurion. Alright, if I really want to save Scum, if I want to do perfect, I could do double. Um. Double Field of Pain and then Double Carnage, right? And we're saying the champ fight's over. Alright, let's slow down and since this is a puzzle, not a run, we can technically math this out here. As There's something clearly wrong if you're having to do putt. Um... If you're having the dupe pot. Oh, we fight. The goal is to ritual dagger this fight. That's the goal. I forgot that I don't have Dragon Brace in play. But we did it. Yay. Now we can stack up the bottle. Hey, Dupac came back. Okay. Burning Pact. I don't have energy. It's the problem. Burning Pact's not bad, though. I see energy. I think upgrading body slam could be useful for damage. Or okay, there's a lot of things that are decent upgrades here. Okay, we have too much draw. I know, we know, I know. But we had too much draw on the turns where we're drawing. On the turns where we don't draw, we wish we had more draw. It's like catch twenty two. It's like yeah, we draw a lot when we draw, but when I don't draw, I'm dead. That's my philosophy. So I feel like burning patch I don't break as often. And then we can always second wind it, right? That's the beauty. Second wind is like, hey, burning pack doesn't feel good. 
Get out of here. And now the deck doesn't have Bernie Pact. Second wind is really good. I think upgrading Body Slam is a, a good energy upgrade. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are we going to go for a Body Slam Infinite? Not Infinite, but like do like Body Slams. I think Body Slam upgrade is good because I'm going to do Second Wind Shenanigans and make Body Slam kill. So I'm going to dual wield either Body Slam or Funeral Pain. We're gonna do with Philip Payne, get a crazy amount of scaling on Philip Payne, and then we're gonna just do like a power. Uh, wait, I don't have power through. I have Wild Strikes, Wounds, for Body Slam. And that, I'm trying to get like a lot of damage. <laughs> I could do a Body Slam as well. What I'm saying is, I think this is a good upgrade for the things I wanna do. OJB got his enlightenment. He's ready to enlighten. This is pretty good. This gives me like... I like it. I kind of want to see if I can dual wield it. Even. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot, wait. I could do this body slam thing that I talked about, or I could do fire breathing. And I could just. I want to put dual wheel on top of the deck instead, so I can actually play it with Funeral Pain. That's like that's the, like my bigger solution. Okay, but then I got apparition. Okay, wait. I mean, I think dual wheel from Funeral Pain or Dark Apparition. This is where Headbutt's really good. Dual wheel. Getting headbutted for these cards are really good. I mean, I could do fire breathing stuff, sure. I, I think I like my body slam plan better. It's more thematic, anyways. I don't need Carnage in the deck. So Carnage can go. And I do want to draw into a powers here. And now the gas is ready. So it's extremely ideal for me to draw into dual wield here, which is why I have my purity, this whole damn thing. And I, I want to aggressively search for dual wield. Aggressively. And I'm going to burning tr battle trends to aggressively look for it again. And surely we should find dual wield, right? Okay. Well, I guess fuck me. There's a dual wheel. Whenever you take a debuff, okay. I just want hand space. So, again, we don't need bash. Although bash does increase the body slam by a, a decent margin. It should be noted. I don't need Reaper. And now we're crafting the, a beautiful, beautiful uh, concoction here. We got the dual wheel feeling pain. We also take a handful of damage. No, I could take the damage, it's not a big deal. As long as it ensures that I have like so much film of pain uh, block that body slam is killing really easily. One energy would go very well here. I think taking this hit is fine probably. Sure. 
Dual wield the body stim in the second win, and then now, now I'm I'm good to go. Because then I have the wheel final pain again, and then the engines here. It's cutting it close though. So we do it with a paint and then uh, we're cutting a little close but we we survive which is important. This is a good dual wield upgrade by the way. This was a good dual wield upgrade. That I should have considered more. Only thing I'm worried about is that, like, I wish I had some block that wasn't because I'm about to lose this feeling of pain. I think I played this fight wrong. But relic, yeah, my compass is not bad. I, I'm just hyped for any 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 energy relic. Any energy relic. Yeah, dual plus would have been very nice. I suppose we could do with 8 block per exhaust. I think I could have done this better though. But 8 block per, per exhaust is probably fine. Yeah, but the problem is... I don't... I need more generation. See, this is not good enough. It's decent, but it's not... Should I say I'm ready to go for the kill? Not necessarily, right? But I can probably kill next turn, perhaps. I could draw the body slam again here. And then we ritual dagger. Stack up the... Uh And the toolbox here. Planche is how much? Ten? Oh my god. With barricade, I think I could do some crazy things. With offering, I could do some crazy things. Yeah, pretty good. Yes. Coffee dripper. Now, pyramid is crazy. Because pyramid, I can go full chest mode. 
I need energy, guys. My car. Why am I taking pyramid? I need. What am I talking about? I need the. I need to get the coffee dripper here. It's the easiest coffee dripper of my life. It's the easiest corruption. Of, oh, sorry. Of coffee dripper of my life. Now, let's go farm elites because I would like an exhum. A couple of exhums. Yeah, I'm good. I, I'm definitely happy to do some elites here. Also, mind bloom. Right? We have Omamori. So if we get a mind bloom of gold, that is huge. Pyramid is horrible, actually. I need energy, and pyramid, my hands are f constantly full of too much cards, too many cards in my hand. It's not very good. We'll probably win the run, win the run now. I think we do f all the elites. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Like I said, I'm not out of the woods yet. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna draw six cards of wound. Ridiculous. Yeah, we'll leave this fight in full, don't worry. First. Oh yeah, put fire breathing. I'm not leaving the fight with full. I you, you guys should have told me that earlier. I would have uh, not played fire breathing. Alright, I gotta I gotta get my head in the game here. I gotta get my head in the game here, boys. Can I get four and ritual dagger is the question. I want to kind of set up a uh, ritual dagger kill here. Is that greedy? Dagger next turn. Ah, it's not deep. It's not greedy. It's not greedy. It's not greedy. Okay, so Warcry is like some kind of draw a little bit. Also set up, also set up like double tap. I'm um, sorry, double wield stuff. Bloodletting is energy, and energy is good. I love bloodletting because I love energy. Setting up Omori. <laughs> Setting up Omori. Oh man, that's gonna be a tough one. I'm just happy to have the Ritual Dagger scaled. I don't need to be full life. I can get full life another time. The Ritual Dagger is important. 
Now this dagger is saying Act 4 Elite is less scary. You know, it's like sort of an out. And now I have the ability to like dual wield dagger in some certain fights. I think Blood Lightning is really good, guys. It's also a story like, do I want Weaken for the Heart? And Artifact Stripping. I don't know. I think the way we're going, we're not going to need Weaken. We're going to have a lot of block. But having energy to play things is very important. Of course, this is not bad either. An upgrade of Warcry it helps us get to the cards we want to see, such as Apparitions and Barricades with Funeral Paints, right? I think Blood Lightning is better. I agree with myself. Okay. You guys want to transform to Evolves? Or is it almost kind of like a rite of passage to bring the 7 Evolves to the end of the game? Who's the uh, boss? I mean, how good are upgrades here? Upgrades are pretty good. Like, upgrade on a barricade is nice. Upgrade on a battle... Uh, blood blood is really good. Upgrade on battle is very good. Uh, there's some valuable upgrades, but... Other than that, there's some also big misses. Get to bring all seven... Or else a loss. Yeah, I, I read that rule. I was just trying to... I was hoping no one else read the rule. But if only you and I know about the rule, then I guess we can transform, right? What can I transform Evolve into anyways? At least Evolve is like something I could second wind. Like, what if I get weird attacks? Ugh, I shudder at it. What a crazy idea. You can also upgrade dual wield, yeah, so it can upgrade a couple things. There's a couple good upgrades. But that's also a lot of gold. I'm about to hit a shop. But my next, this is mind blowing. I'm gonna get infinite gold anyways. I think we don't need Bash anymore. Bash is too expensive to play. And yeah, it theoretically makes Body Slam better, or Reaper better sometimes, or Carnage better, or Ritual Dagger better sometimes. But it costs two to play. So, how better is it making it if it costs two to play? Oh, this is not my blue I feel, I feel, uh... I feel cheated out of, uh... I feel cheated. I guess I can do Blood Lady instead. I was gonna do Apparition, but... Now that I think about this... So we're gonna Reaper this fight to full. This fight, I will Reaper to full. No questions about it. Nah, no pot. These pots are eight plated armor and two do pots respectively. Well, I don't need plate armor here because I'm, I'm gonna be able to fall anyways. Well, I don't gain strength, do I? It's gonna be hard to reaper to fool. Plate armor is much better when it's eight of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Four is not as good, but eight is pretty significant. They heal for 15, which is eh, close to full. Close to full. Oh, it's not upgraded. Damn, it's even worse. 12. It's close enough. And now we're going to go for Body Slam on Happy Flower 2, plus Ink Bottle on... The appropriate number. This beats the heart, by the way. This right here. Just like this turn. And now we get ink bottle perfectly. Sk 
skip. All right. Becky's very nice. Uh, Becky wins games. Left or right? You guys are saying we can do three elites, right? Four elites even. Four elites? I'm saying we can do four elites. Oh, and if I didn't find it, I had it here. I love Dark Shackles. If I were to buy a card, it's Dark Shackles here. But that is another out. Another safety net. And all we need is safety nets. Because once we get going, we get going, we win. And Dark Shackles is an apparition, as far as I'm concerned. Eh, sort of. Not a very good shot, but a little unfortunate. But I mean, getting Dark Shackles and leaving? Not the worst. It is sort of a bad draw sometimes. You know, like... Any artifact fight or a fight where they're not attacking at all, but... Um... You know, so like Act 4 Elite, artifacts are a problem. The heart only relevant probably, probably you know, before turn 3. Awaken 1 is still relevant no matter what. Reckless is probably okay. Reckless is another engine. Yeah, this is the evolved box from Reddit, yep. Yes, it is. Did someone beat it already? I don't know if anybody beat it already. We're, we're, we're on the way to beating it. You know if it's worth 90, 90, 90 Gs? Well, it's not free because it's not free because it takes a draw slot, but. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's like first time somebody beating it or not. But we're gonna beat it. Alright, we're gonna beat it. That's what matters. We're on the way to beating it. Damn, panic button or blind? I wish I could see my hands. <laughs> I might need panic button. Okay, to be fair, Firestorm, did people save scum when they played the seed? Because I did use save scum. I thought that was par for the course. Dual Dark Embrace. But what if I draw Barricade early? Doesn't matter. I'm not playing Barricade. This guy is brutal. This guy's harder than anything else. I should probably try to draw into Body Slam, right? Or... Like, Bloodletting, Dark Shackles, Body Slam. I have a lot of gas coming up. Bloodletting, Dark Shackles, and Body Slam is gas. And then... I also have Apparition next turn, though. I don't like how I'm not gonna be full life next in the next elite though. I do not like that. Damn it, second wind. <laughs> you son of gun. 
Alright, this is cool. Let's try to get some Reaver heal, okay? Is my dream's Reaver here? Yeah, literally makes me have less life overall. It's true. I wasn't thinking about the next turn, perspectively. I basically said that the next. The next uh, hall, the leaf, I don't need that extra 3 HP, right? That's what we're saying here. If we need another extra 3 HP for that, oh my lord. More new pots. I can never lose. Let me not be too uh, hasty in saying that. I guess it's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Because the dazed. Yeah, I probably skipped over Reckless Charge there. We could retroactively add Reckless Charge. You guys want to retroactively add it? Let's talk about it. Sorry, I'm, I'm going a little fast. The problem with Reckless Charge is that it's negative draw until everything's set up. I want to get set up ASAP. And I think once I'm set up, well, what do I do once I'm set up? Once I'm set up, I have, um, I have to play D Wild Strikes. And that's a little bit of, of you know, Wild Strikes is a little annoying to play. Because it costs one. Dazed. I mean, Reckless Charge costs zero, so it's much easier to play Reckless Charge draw, play Reckless Charge, draw, play Reckless Charge, draw, and get a lot of value. Whereas Wild Strike is one, 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 and I run out of steam very quickly. So Reckless Charge, when your deck is really exhausted down, which is going to be, Reckless Charge being zero is actually quite beneficial. I'll just basically add it afterwards. Like, after this fight's over, or, oh, actually, yeah. I can add it after the fight's over, yeah. And also, we can dual wield the Reckless Charge, which gives us more days. And Reckless Charge is actually very good here. That's a good call. Uh, I want to find Barricade here. Wait, if you add it right now, I'm curious. If you add it right now, does it end up in your deck? I'm just curious. Jesus, I keep pressing that instead of tap. Does it like randomly show up on your next like on the next draw? Anybody else curious? We also have lethal there. Wait, we kinda have lethal there. It, not lethal, sorry. We have like impervious dual wheel stuff, which is kind of interesting, right? Like impervious dual wheel is massive damage. I'm curious though how that works. That's cool. Oh, wait, Jesus Christ. These are really cool, man. It's really fun. So I have like impervious dual wield body slam for a lot of damage here. Kind of cool. Not getting above all sucks, but I think. Okay, here's my philosophy. I have three apparitions in the deck. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Do pot lethal. <laughs> I mean, I want to reaper heal this fight, right? Or even maybe get Dagger. There's probably a different way I can go about this fight. I can kill those little things. And then I'm taking in crap tons of damage anyways. There's probably Dupont Lethal here always. Because Dagger is not in the hand, as you can see. But Lethal is.
another wild strike for another engine. So we we actually like reckless charge though, right? I think we agree that reckless charge is nice. The only thing about reckless charge is that it does not help me at all until I'm set up. But once I'm set up, it's quite nice. That's the only thing I'm contending with. So do I like a card that doesn't help me set up, but is great once I'm set up? Aren't a lot of cards really good once I'm set up? Isn't it very easy to like something once you have this engine going? I mean, I can put like... Hell, I can put... Okay, I can't put Clash. I mean, Clash doesn't really bode well. I mean, we did talk about once we're set up, we can do days, do a wield stuff, and a lot of draw cycles. It does make sense. I'll strike plus. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Oh, uh, our, our turns are kind of bad, so what, what's a way to make our turns a little bit better? Is draw more cards with Battle Trance, right? Or more cards with Burning Pact, or... I think making Barricade more playable is important as well. And Bloodletting for Energy is more important as well. I mean, there's a lot of things that are important. Of course, I gotta draw these draw cards on the first turn for it to matter, however... Having those extra draws could be very useful. But the, the ability to have Barricade Impervious... Mind Bloom. Where the hell is Mind Bloom? If you stab me, I will be very sad. Okay. Deserved. I get it. I get it. I guess it is deserved. Um, do I pivot to the left and look for Mind Bloom? Hmm. I'm almost more way to be procced. Purity. Hmm. I'm gonna watch above forty for everyone. Okay. Four dexterity save us. Do you mean to tell me I have to do pot again? So the stab killed me. The stab made it so that I can't survive with do a, a dex pot. Now. Instead of Dupotting, I could do Impervious. And since we are safe coming, okay, let's be realistic. Since we are safe coming. All right. It's not like the safe stuff is going to stop now. Yeah, we're in a better position, but the, our, the run's still hard, I suppose. Forced to do putt. Damn. That stab really hurt me. That stab really hurt me, guys. I was trying to save the putt. Stab said no thank you. However, it's fine.
kind of want to blow that in. If you just don't draw. What if you just don't die? Just don't die, sir. It's a good deal wield on the body slam. I can do wield Reaper and heal. I'm a stall. Alright guys, get your pillows. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to witness this. I'm doing it. I'm getting dual wield. I should have done it. I shouldn't have segmented into the dual wield. I messed that up. It's fine. Actually, if I'm gonna go infinite heal, I could have done dual wield right there to save myself time. It's still gonna work out. We have so much time in the world. It is no big deal. Whatsoever. I swear, I, I, I might be sleepwalking. We can still do it like this. It takes infinitely longer. It just takes a little bit longer. No big deal. It just takes a little bit longer. It takes infinitely longer. Okay, but I don't need to get full. Ah, uh, I can. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's fine. I'm happy with like 12 fuel, I think. We can get more heal. Hey, we, we can do this, this is fine. Okay, it's like not that great. Like instant sprinter is obviously a lot better. Backup prep is great. And flash of steel makes it nice. Wait, a secret technique just in case we don't have apparitions, and we do. Okay, I'm a little perturbed by the. Uh All right. Uh, well, this fight we could. This fight can stall forever. This fight is easy for a deck like mine. Oh, I'm about to dual wield Feel No Pain. Oh my god, get your Crick Essence ready, guys. Get the Crick Essence ready, please. It's about to happen. I can feel it. Excuse me? Hide the emotes, hide the emotes. No, 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 I'm not ready yet. That's fine. That's fine.
<laughs> Our operation change plans. Operation change plans. There we go. Alright, so we don't need the Reaper, right? Because all we all we have to do is just like get Ritual Dagger instead. What's three life gonna do for me? It's much better to do Ritual Dagger right now. Cause it also stacks up. Ink bottle. We got exhumed. Ooh, we got exhumed. Insta click, insta click. This is why we take those fights, because we want exhumed. Master strategy? Seems good. Oh, Exhum is good. Good stuff. Get that my dog in. We let the dog in. So fire everything before Wild Strike is interesting. Like Wild Strike fire everything. I, I only have so much energy though. That's ah, that's the thing. This fight is. Mm. Oh, but look at that fire breathing. Oh, that's a little awkward. I couldn't get a grenade proc. I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried. Reaper, but you're not summoning. Oh, more card draw. Ooh, all of a sudden, we got card draw. Armor's Plus is looking nice. Armor's Plus is looking quite nice, right? Is it quite nice? What does it do for us? I think Armor's Plus is pretty decent with Centennial Puzzle now and the Burning Packs in the deck plus Dark Embrace Draws plus Battle Train sometimes. I could see Armin's sometimes being useful to upgrade Dual Wield. Okay, so Mind Bloom could no longer give us gold and give us a rare relic, however. By going this path, I get an extra upgrade and an extra elite. That's good enough for me. Mainly because of the elite. And this fight is very easy because this guy takes his time. That's extremely easy for me. Taking his time is his biggest downfall. I wish I had a headbutt though for these uh, female pain shenanigans. Um, yeah, this this fight's over. Oh, well, losing apparition, eh, less than ideal. But I think we can do so much second wind stuff that it's not a big deal. I might even do fire breathing stuff.
I might have to do dual wield on this body slam here. This here body slam, sir. This here body slam, sir. Requires to wield. Not full life. We have Panagraph though. Alright, let's go ahead and get Ritual Dagger upgraded instead. I like that better. I like that better. Yeah. Huh? Uh, sure. Brutality or True Grit? I think you taste this casual. Is True Grit any good? What's up, Emily Oxton? What's up, Festus Ballestif? In light of old, fa uh, old faces. Remember Emily Olive from Realm Royale? True Grit is decent. True Grit is okay, huh? Yeah, I remember Festive. Absolutely mad. Mad lead. Uh, operating second wind is really good because that's like my engine, right? So is Impervious. So this is a P-Box seed that started off with seven evolves, and I've kept every single one of them. I've kept every single one of them, guys. It's a hard seed. So if I were to... um. If I want to do a wheel of final pain, I can play and get away with it. So I'm gonna do a wheel of final pain. Oh my god, I didn't upgrade dual wield. Cause I'm about to do a wheel of final pain and I didn't upgrade dual wield. Yeah, yeah. Dual wield does want to be upgraded. So does second wind. Yeah, dual wield definitely wants to be upgraded. Now I kinda wanna look for like apparition on top of everything. <laughs> I really wanna up dual wield this field of pain, but um I mean, how crazy do you want to go? Two, two Phantom Pains is probably good enough, right? I don't need to go for, like... Crazy amounts. I want to save Dark Cycles. I can save Dark Cycles, it's fine. Next turn, I'm in danger of dying next turn. I do want to second win this though. It's awkward. Yeah, we're in danger of dying here. Alright, save scum. Uh, well, Dark Shack was, doesn't really help because once I get to the second phase, um, the fight's already over. Let's gotta survive the first cycle. 
But once it gets to the second phase, the fight's already over. That's the thing. Because once barricade is in play, and I'm doing all these second win things, I have infinite block, and yeah, the fight's over on body slam it's phase two. It's just surviving first phase, which is the problem. This might be interesting. I might have to get to barricade ASAP. I might need to get to barricade ASAP here. Yeah, it's, this turn three is pretty bad, huh? Alright. This is doable, though. The trick is turn one's intended, uh, intended puzzle at some point. So, not playing Final Pain right away. There's also another thing I could do. Oh, but then Carnage happens. Uh. But then carnage happens. Oh, I fucked that up. But here is good because I take one damage here. Then I Also, get the second wind. A little bit awkward. Here we want to find blood in badly. I want to find blood really bad here, but I also want apparition. I can see which technique can bring blood in, but I really want it. A barricade in play. Here's the problem. It's the multi attack turn that I need to get Dark Cycles for. So I gotta be a little bit careful about not getting prematurely. But it's not avoidable at this point. I can do a Fill and Pain and just win the game as well. The thing is, I need to redraw onto Dark Cycles uh, appropriately. It's doable. And then we're gonna draw into Dual Wheel with Female Paint here. And win the game off that. However, we need to draw Dark Cycles first. <laughs> I'm also playing way too many, probably playing way too many uh, powers. It makes this. Uh, I can still block this, but. Eh.
Any more wounds? I'm forcing strength a lot, but it's gonna pay dividends once they play second wind. What's up, TPX? How you doing, big boy? People wonder why I feel not paying two brothers worth it. I show them this turn. We panograph, guys. Take as much damage as I need. I'm infinite, by the way. I thought I should mention I'm infinite here. Doing great, dude. Doing great. It's a fun seed. I want to show the power of infinite block. It's 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 truly the beauty of. Uh, I could do all these because it's it's really the beauty of. Oh, did we do ritual dagger already? We did, right? Panograph is what is giving the the, the confidence to, to be crazy here. That's a lot of block. That's a lot of block. This fight's a little annoying. Potentially. I could do a ritual dagger because ritual dagger draws a lot later on. I could do the funeral, funeral pain stuff as well for this fight. You guys want me to do that? I don't need to though. I, I could do the funeral pain stuff, but I also don't need to. Like I could go for some funeral pain, do a wield stuff. It's kind of hard though because I need it. Now this deck just wants to get rid of like half the cards and just only draw into. Well, the seven of all are not helping, but I mean, yeah, do we need to be upgraded so I can so I can secret technique do a wheel you know, pin sometimes? Entertain you? <laughs> oh, here's the thing. I think I should focus on winning, and I'm curious if we're good enough with just one final pin. That's really unfortunate. Quite a travesty. Let's go for the dagger kill. So 
So if we can draw the dagger now, it would be really nice. I could upgrade it even. I could even upgrade the dagger. I can stall this. I'm gonna stall for upgraded dagger. Uh, that was not a perfect number, but that's probably fine, right? If you can't make me look 8 foot tall. <laughs> that's my secret, I am 8 foot tall. That's why I have such a close shot on my, my, my head, because if I expose chest level, you might realize my chest is actually 5 feet long. So we recognize that dual wheel is pretty nice upgrade, right? There's a lot of good upgrades here. Apotheosis, I would have loved that one. Wow. Alright, did we finally remove one of the evolves, or is it in the rule book that we asked to keep all seven? Because no one has beat it yet. I can make the rules. And I can say, listen, if you're gonna beat this run, keep all the evolves. Well, here's the thing. This I got seven evolves on floor zero because of P box. This is one of the hard seats. Look. Look what it says. Look at five potions because we have, uh, we have, what's it called? Sacred Bark? I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I like the dexterity. It's good enough. Weakens very good as well. That weakens saves me a lot of life for like, what, four turns of attacks? And dexterity as well. I mean, weakens not that important if I'm Apparition though, to be fair. Fruit juice is kind of good here. Yeah, but I think so is Shrug Remove. But if I'm not removing Evolve, then what the hell am I removing? I would not buy an Evolve, unfortunately, no. Dupot or something? Dupot for like Feel No Pain or Apparitions? Yeah, Dupots for Apparitions are pretty good. You're not wrong. But I also just like Dexpot and Weak, the weak Pots. Okay, it's whatever. I, I walked him, he... Mm. Alright, we gotta walk our dog after this. Oh, that's scummy, OJV. But I mean, when you've already gone down the safe scum route... I mean, that's scummy, guys. This is scummy stuff. No, that, that, I wasn't even wanting to do that, but I'm... Okay, I didn't want to do that. But since he said it, I mean... Listen, he gave me a... a he allowed me to be scummy. I mean, that was, that was scummy. Even that was too far... We can act like we don't know what's in there. <laughs> oh my god. Well, because I am... I mean, if you give me permission to be scummy, I, I'll take it. Okay, here's the thing, though. I like just removing Shrug. <laughs> do, do the Entropic to scum further? Okay, okay, you guys want to see the... <laughs> Wait, if I save and quit, I keep my potions, right? Wait a minute, now I don't even know. If I discard my potions, does it keep? Wait, now I don't know. Does it... Permit discard? You sure you get them back? Okay. Okay, now the question is, do we do skill pot or block pot? Or is explosive pot good for the act for elite? Skill pot or block pot? Skill pot can be entrench or exhum.
Be pentagraph, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we want to hit with the dagger? I have Impervious in there somewhere. Legend has it there's Impervious somewhere. I mean Apparition I mean. Oh my god I meant Apparition. Legend has it I have an Apparition. <laughs> Apparition is what I meant to say. But Letty's so good. Alright, I have lethal. So, happy flowers on two. Lethal's acquired. Um, say no more. I might as well dagger here. No, Bloodline is good, guys. Bloodline is always good. Not always, but I mean, it's, it's usually pretty good. The dagger might be useful. No, it might be... Yeah, it might be li slightly useful. Slightly. One, two... Three, four. Boom! Booyaka sha, booyaka sha. Bag of prep. I've been waiting for it the whole game. Nice. Also, another secret my, hand, my hands are actually five feet long. Alright, I guess it's only fair I take Evolve here. Supposed to be a hard seed. Add an eighth Evolve. We see something like crazy in this. But if this was ever deemed impossible, then I no longer believe in impossible. Sentinel is really good here. I love Sentinel. <laughs> I don't think I want to flex the Evolve. I don't know. I'm a little trepidatious. I think 7 is a good number. 7 is my favorite number anyways. I forgot I even mentioned Evolve. Because Sentinel is really good here. Violence is good. It gets rid of all the crap. Getting rid of crap is good. Oh, wow. Okay. We're taking damage here. Can't do anything about that. I'm, I'm overdrawing. I'm overdrawing. That's that's the true cringe. That's the true cringe, guys. This is a bad turn. As bad as it comes. Good turn, never mind. I was supposed to do pot the apparition, by the way. However, I'm gonna flex the heart and not even do that. Skill pot is interesting here, though, because skill pot is not frail. But do pot apparition was very nice. Luckily, safe scum exists, I suppose, right? So here, since we're, since we're gonna find Apparition, I'm gonna flex. You ready? Since we're gonna find Apparition... Ready, ready? By playing double, a Dragon Race is gonna draw into Apparition. I guarantee it. I'm calling it right here. I don't need double, Dark Embrace, though. I just wanna kinda, like, 
be the soothsayer and actually get double apparition right now. But I'm supposed to do double uh, apparition the first turn. Unless we can get away with it now. Guess what the skill pot is. Disappointing. Yeah, the hard judge us for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. No doubt. You guys want to do wheel fire breathing? I know, it's like... It's weird because... I wanted to do wheel to feel in pain, but I think... Way too many. Uh... How am I ever getting rid of the the statuses? Technically, I could have played apparition uh, twice. I, I realized I had two apparitions in the deck, so playing both apparitions would have saved me. Uh, if we get armaments here, this hmm. it's worth considering. What is this? Yeah, I could have played armaments again. That of all is better as block. <laughs> it's better as block, actually. I probably wanted, I probably need to do a wheel of field pain actually. Yeah, it's a puzzle, exactly, exactly.
You think I was done with Reckless Charge? You thought it was over? Reckless Charge, baby. And the impossible scene is done. Seven evolves. Floor zero. Succeeded. Nothing impossible about it. The hardest part is Act One, though. The hardest part is Act One. But once you have second wind final pain, I guess anything's possible. Thanks for the 100 bits, T-Peaks. Alright, tell Reddit it's been solved, guys. Tell Reddit to find a new one. What's a, what's another, what's a harder one?